Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here back with another video. I know very crazy two straight days But anyways, we are going to be doing a power league video now I was recently at least last week top five in the world I was one for a little bit last week But I've tilted myself all the way down to the bottom of legendary one reason I did so is so I can actually make content on Power League, because Power League is actually really fun. It's very, very fun to be playing a bunch of pro players, a bunch of players from different regions, and just good players at your skill level all the time. And Legendary 1 and Legendary 3 basically has the same lobbies, just Legendary 3 takes 3 hours or 2 hours, and this takes about 15 minutes if you haven't played all day, which I have not. So anyways, we're going to enter queue. We're going to get a couple games. I'm going to show you guys what to do, how to pick, how to draft, what to play, etc. Let's hop into it, and let's see what happens. All right, so here we go. We get into our first game here, and we are up against Tribe Tyrant. So a really good player. We're going to be playing on Dry Season. Um, this map is really weird. It's not a map that, norm that I normally play. Usually, I go Piper, Sprout, or S Mr. P when I'm on this map. We're going to see what our randoms go here. Randoms are probably going to make the difference in between this game. Our first pick, I'm probably going to instruct... Oh, I didn't mean to click Brock. Please don't take Brock. Probably going to instruct him to take Nani. Nani is definitely the best brawler on this map with the given bands. So he's going to go ahead and take it. So that's a pretty good start for us. Pretty good. Um, let's, gonna see, let's see what they're going to take. So they're going to go with Sprout. Pretty obvious pick. Uh, Gus Gaming 19. Let's see what he's going to go with here. Um, probably Piper, Mr. P. Something like that is... Probably going to be what's going to happen. Let's see what he goes. Three seconds left. Two. All right. He's going to go Bell. I forgot about Bell. It's a good pick. I'm probably going to go with Piper. I'm going to tell my teammate to go Mr. P. Mr. P and Nani would be really good for my teammates to have. And if I go Piper. And then there is a chance that Tyrant. No, please. I mean, Gene would work, I guess. But I don't really want him to go Gene. Okay. I'm going to go with the Piper. Hopefully, Tyrant doesn't go mortis because that would be super annoying although i can definitely see him going mortis there's definitely a lot of brawlers that he can still choose from like gene that are playable into our comp so we'll see if he goes with range or if he just decides to counter but this is a pretty big decision on his part it could throw the game or it could win him the game so he's gonna go with byron pretty interesting pick um i think i'm gonna go with this star power just so i can hit people faster better um, but yeah, we're going to go right into the game here. So let's see what happens. So loading in Bell is going to be on the left Byron on the right. So I'm going to be on Tyrant's lane, which I guess is good. Going to be moving up here. Our Nani is going to be covering that left side. Going to move up. Going to be able to hit the Bell once. Tyrant moves up. We're going to hit him once. Going to go for the curve. Not going to be able to get it. I'm low, I gotta regen. Our Mr. P is playing really well. Although me and the Nani, I believe, should be on different sides. That would probably make the most sense. Mr. P playing really well here. I got hit, gotta run away. Let's see, I can two-tap the Bell and the Byron. We gotta run away here from each other. So we're kind of pinned back right now. They have us pinned pretty nicely. I don't know if our Nani is even close to super yet. Oh, there we go. We're able to get a really good shot over there. I'm one shot to the Byron Super, so I gotta back up over here. Byron's gonna get a hit off on us. Let's see if we can get that curve. We're not able to. Gotta separate over here from the Nani. We really need that Nani head. That's gonna be very crucial to winning this game. Don't think he's gonna be able to get it, though. Maybe even throughout the entirety of the game, Tyrant is going to hit us. He's going to get us pretty low. We're one shot to his super. He's going to use it. He's going to miss. We finally have the Nani head. Tyrant is going to juke it. Oh, no. Nani. That is not very good. And then I'm going to go down over there. So that is really bad for us. I have one curve left, so I can go for a two-top still. Bell is going to go for a play. We're going to curveball the Bell. Hopefully the Nani can hit the shot. Not going to. So we're down pretty bad right now. Still need two kills at this point. Tyrant's probably really close to super, so we got to run away. He has super now, but this is not looking very good for us whatsoever. We're able to hit Tyrant over there, but he's going to pop his gadget, so he's going to heal up very nicely. I'm going to go for a shot over here. Not going to be able to hit it. going to be able to get one kill. Tyrant's going to back up. He's going to go down. We are losing by one star. Oh, we hit the final shot, but we go down. We tie... And they have blue. Very unfortunate. How do they have blue? I don't understand how they have blue, but anyways, I guess because I got the kill, 
that sucks. But anyways, tie game, gonna move forward. Hopefully we can have a little bit of a better start here. Gonna go for the bell. Our Nani's going a little bit more aggro this game, which I think is good. Even if it dies, it's fine, but it's gotta get that head and it's gotta connect when it uses it. Because it should basically be a free kill. It's gonna go down. I'm gonna go down. And this is not looking very good whatsoever. Tyrant's doing a really good job over here on this right side. The Bell and Byron shots are very overwhelming. I'm not going to lie. Gonna move back to hiding in this corner. Tyrant now has his super. Gonna move forward here. Try and find somebody, but I can't see anyone really in the middle of the map that I'm gonna be able to hit. Or Nani gets hit again. Trying to get Tyrant here, but he's playing that wall really well. Gonna be able to get that bell to one, but not gonna be able to get the kill. So we really need a Nani head. We really need a play here. We need something to happen. I think I go down here. No, I don't. He misses the super. Okay, we got really lucky he missed super. I definitely would have died. Nani now is head. Oh, but it goes down. So again, it is not looking very good for us right now. Let's see. Almost get a kill on Tyrant there. Not going to be able to, though. Hopefully, Nani gets a kill. It does. Okay, so we're down three. It's still definitely winnable. Uh, we're going to focus up here. Still have two curves left. The Sprout is being very annoying over there on that left side. I'm going to try and break this open. I'm going to break it open over there so they have less room to hide behind. Tyrant is tapping. He's going to get our Mr. P. Trying to get the bell over here, but it's doing a great job. I believe our Nani is going to go down. It is. And eight seconds left. It looks like we are going to take the L to Mr. Tribe Tyrant. I'm going to give him a little bit of a spin at the end of the game for the GGs. But that is going to be an L for us. So a really bad start. GG's to Tyrant. And now we almost tilt. Oh, we did tilt out of Legendary. So I really did go to the very bottom. We're going to queue back up. Hopefully we get a game. We're already two out of six. So the matchmaking isn't going to be that long. Let's hop into our next game. And hopefully we can get the dub. All right. So it took like 10 minutes. But we already have our next game. Um, so I don't really know these guys too well. I've seen their names a little bit. So we're just going to go ahead and ban Stu. Because Stu is such an annoying brawler. I hate facing it so much. Um, I kind of wish it wasn't in the game, but anyways, let's see what our teammates pick. Last game did not go as expected. We get dodged, but it's fine. Matchmaking isn't that long. I don't really care if I get dodged if matchmaking doesn't take two hours. Just on to the next. So let's get to the next game and let's see what happens. All right, so going into our next game, I hope we don't get dodged here because I have a tournament in 14 minutes. Um, this match we can took a little bit longer, but it's gonna be on ice fort. So again, we're just gonna go ahead ban Stu. We do this every single time every single map We hate Stu don't want Stu to be played at all either on our team or on the other teams. We get max first pick That's a very nice first pick. We like max first pick. That is really good Basically the best first pick you can make so good job to Prince K if you're watching this video Very good job on your max pick. Anyways, we're gonna be waiting. We're gonna see what they take now they're taking their sweet time, not gonna lie. I don't think you need to take the whole 20 seconds, but they choose to. They're gonna be going ahead and taking Tara. Um, another good pick. Hopefully they don't take Sandy. If we get the mix of Sandy and Max, we're basically guaranteed to win the game, I'm not gonna lie. Um, let's see what they take over here. They're gonna go with Amber. So we're gonna get the Sandy pick. Basically locked in that we've won this game. Hopefully, please don't, please don't go Sprout. Please go Sandy. Please go Sandy. And I'm gonna take Gene. Oh my God, we literally have a comp that I would run in the world finals last match with everything on the line one million dollars this is the comp I would probably run so the fact that we're getting this in a mythic 3 power league game is pretty epic but anyways EP256 doesn't matter what you take we have already won the game unless you take something absolutely crazy and something happens so you take Pam okay respectable comp actually a really good comp but I think our comp just synergizes way too well it's way too good we're going to hop into the game here, and we are going to see what happens. So I'm going to go mid with the Max. Hopefully the Max understands the strats. Them having a Pam is going to be pretty easy for me and the Sandy to just charge our super off of. Oh, I'm still on Silver Jean. I recently got Silver Jean. I was very hyped about it. But I don't want to wear it. I just wanted to try it. I forgot to take it off. So we're going to be mid here against this Pam. I basically have my super already, which is super early into the game, considering we've only had two gem spawns. Max is going to be on lane. I'm just going to heal him up a little bit. 
We're moving towards the mid now. We are very close to our pull. This Pam is going to put a turret back in spawn. Not really the strat, considering it should use it for a body block on my pull. We're going to be able to pull the Pam. You guys already know, auto aim always with the pulls. It's the strat. Ask Spen LC if you would like. But, um, yeah, really good start for us. Our max hasn't gotten speed yet, which kind of sucks. Max is going to give us the speed over there. I guess I spoke too soon. Going to pull the Pam into the max. It should be a really easy kill for us, but I'm going to use the knockback gadget just in case to get additional HP. They're going to take out the turret over there. We're going to go for our pull. Going to get it. Our Sandy is going to heal up. Probably going to go down. We do have the gem spawn. We're going to give Sandy some additional heals. Chill in the back of our spawn. This has gone really well. And this is what I was talking about with this comp. It's basically unbeatable. Going to pull this Pam towards us over there. Again with the auto aim. We love auto aim. They're going to try and go for kills. Oh, maybe? Okay, there's nothing really that they can do. We didn't even synergize that well with the max, and it was still a pretty easy game, 10-0. I expect the same thing to happen again, and we're probably going to promote back to Legendary after this game. So go back right where we started. So we're going to move forward here. Again, try and chip down and get our super early into the game. The Tara decides to switch up and use an early gadget. Good strategy to switch things after you lose the first game. Try something new. They're going to get the first two gems. Not that really big, or not a big deal really, since we're just going to end up pulling the Pam either way. Going to get super charge off of that Tara. So there we go. One shot to super. Pam with a much better placement than before of the turret. We're going to try and get the pull off. Flashing the super. Might go for a little bit of a fancy pull here rather than a safe auto aim pull. Oh no, please don't throw that over, Amber. Okay, it's not going to. Spam is hiding behind the turret. We're going to go for a nice pull. Not going to be able to connect. We're going to be lit on fire again. Oh, I didn't know the Tara was over there. So I guess the Max is just shooting at nothing again, though. Not a big deal since we can just get a sandstorm down, get max speed, and pull their gems away. Not really something that I'm too concerned about that we're losing right now. I probably should have been a little bit more conservative with the pull and just use it when I know I was going to get a hit. Anyways, we got to get a kill here. Tara gets super, so this is looking pretty bad for us at the moment. We're going to need a max speed and a pull in order to, to save this game. This is going to be pretty interesting. We're going to be able to get our pull. We're going to go for a pull. He's not going to be over there. Very sad for us. Please. All right, we're going to lose this game. Kind of down bad. 0 for 2 on the pulls that game. Not really my best showing. I think we're just going to stick with the auto aim pulls instead of trying to be fancy. So let's hop into the last game and let's hope we get a win. I really wish I knew that that Tara was there. Tara should not really be hiding on a side and Max shouldn't really be shooting at nothing. But at the same time, you know, I went 0 for 2 on pulls. Who am I to complain about my teammates? Um, we're going to be able to get the first gem. Trying to contest a little bit more this game for the gems. Pam with a really good start. It's hard for Jean to beat Pam at the start of a game. Just due to the fact that it has way more HP and does more damage. But we're going to be able to get our pull and figure it out eventually. Max is going to give me speed. I think I'm just going to help the Max win lane. Because I think that's really important. We're going to be able to win the Max lane over there. Max is going to be shooting at the Pam. We're going to be able to get rid of the Pam turret. Which is really, really good. Don't think I got lit on fire there. Okay, I didn't. Pam knows where we are. The Tara knows where we are. Gonna get a really easy pull. Please don't steal my charge. Okay, we got three full shots there. So only one shot to getting our pull back. Hopefully we can catch this Pam lacking a little bit. Uh, but let's see what happens. Gonna be chipping. They don't know I'm close to pull whatsoever. Gonna hit the Tara over there. Gonna move forward. Try and get the Pam. I think the Pam knows we have pull. Not gonna lie. Because it's playing very very defensive but we're still waiting waiting to make our move over here the tara pull is very scary we have no clue what this tara is going to do there's an amber behind us why is there an amber behind us i don't know but we got nine gems now so they have to move up tara's gonna go for a solo pull not a terrible play but i think should have went for the big money play since they were very much down gonna go for the manual aim pull we're actually going to hit it I know crazy, we hit a manual aim pull, craziest thing I've ever seen before. But we're going to move back over here, we're, we basically got this win in the bag, auto aim that one, going to be able to get the win, and that is going to be a W. So a little bit scary over there, not going to lie, kind of thought we were going to lose, 
But we should get promoted back into L1. We are going to go back up there. And that is going to be it for today. We, I have a tournament in eight minutes. I'm going to go play in that. Probably going to have some replays in that for you guys tomorrow. That's going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed Power League. And if you guys want to see more games like this where we play other really good players and try and make our way up to Masters, I will do that for you guys. But it's going to be it. I will catch you guys hopefully tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. Peace.